Perfectly Clear and Adobe Photoshop are designed to work together seamlessly. We ensure support for Photoshop's most powerful features, including 16-bit workflow for greater color accuracy and smart filter support for editing flexibility. With Perfectly Clear, you can choose to work non-destructively in Photoshop and make changes at any time. While not every company's filters work this way, we want to give professional users the control they want and need. If you're working with a traditional image in Photoshop, converting to a smart object and smart filters is easy. First, select the layer you want to use the smart filter on. Then choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. The layer is now a smart object. You can tell a layer is being used as a smart object by looking at its layer badge in the Layers panel. Now, let's use Perfectly Clear as a smart filter. With the targeted layer selected in the Layers panel, choose Filter, Athentec Imaging, Perfectly Clear Complete V3. The filter is applied and goes to work automatically. For this image, let's use the fixed dark preset and make a few small adjustments. Now let's apply the filter. Click to apply the effect. You'll see Photoshop applies the filter to the image. When working with smart objects, filters may take a little bit longer to apply. In the layers panel, you'll see that the filter has been applied. Let's open it back up. Double click the filter name in the layers panel. Doing so reopens the perfectly clear interface. You'll see that the same presets and slider positions are loaded from the last time the filter was run on this layer. Feel free to make any changes to the filter. The original image is updated as if you were starting from scratch, but your save settings mean you pick up from where you left off before. When satisfied, click the apply button. With smart filters, the ability to adjust whenever you need to is an essential feature in the Photoshop version of the filter. In fact, you can also combine this approach with using RAW files. In Photoshop, open the RAW file as you would any other. The image is handed off to Adobe Camera Raw. Be sure to watch the video, How to Use RAW Files with Perfectly Clear in Photoshop, to learn more about which settings to use. For now, let's get a flatter image from the Adobe Camera Raw dialog and make sure my highlights and shadows are proper. The only other option to use is the Lens Corrections tab to compensate for geometric issues and the Transform and Crop tools if needed. Now, the image is ready. We need to check the workflow options. To do this, click the hyperlink text at the bottom of the window. Make sure the choice to open in Photoshop as a smart object is checked. Also, choose to work in 16 bits per channel for greater color accuracy. Click OK to store the setting, then click Open Object to send the RAW file to a new Photoshop document as a smart object. Once the file opens, you'll see that the image layer is already a smart object. You don't need to use the Convert for Smart Filters command as the picture is already converted. Apply perfectly clear and choose an appropriate preset. Feel free to also refine your image with the adjustment controls if you'd like. When satisfied, click the Apply button. Just like before, the filter is applied as a smart filter. If you need to make changes, you can double click on the filter's name to modify it. Let's make a small change and click the Apply button. Additionally, the RAW file can also be redeveloped. This choice is a similar workflow to Lightroom, where the RAW file is preserved with non-destructive edits. If you'd like, you can double click on the Layers thumbnail in the Layers panel. Doing so reopens the RAW file into Adobe Camera Raw. After making any changes, such as adjusting the vignette here, I can reload the image into Photoshop. Click the OK button to update the layer. Not only does the image update, but Perfectly Clear reanalyzes the new image and intelligently updates its results. Smart filters offer truly flexible workflows for even the most demanding user. For example, you can decide to click the visibility icon to disable an effect at any time. If you'd like to remove an effect, just drag it into the trash at the bottom of the layers panel. You can even combine multiple filters on an image 
and drag their stacking order to change the order in which the filters are applied. For the utmost in precision control, feel free to select the Smart Filters mask. You can now paint on the mask to refine exactly where the filter is applied. This choice can be useful to target specific areas of an image while leaving others untouched. You can even paint with a lower opacity brush to blend the results. Thanks to Smart Filters and Perfectly Clear, you can take advantage of automatic image corrections and robust controls. At any point you need to make a change, you'll find that Perfectly Clear fully supports this modern Photoshop workflow. This concludes our look at Photoshop Smart Filters and Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch more videos to get the most out of your software. Thanks for watching.